Hi, I am Dr. Rahul Bharad. I welcome you all to my series What Life Has Taught Me Yesterday. Today when I am recording this video is 22nd of July 2023. I will be talking what 21st of July has ta taught me in life. Yesterday's most important lesson from, came from share market. Indian share market was supposed to get a landmark. Nifty was supposed to reach a landmark point where it would cross 20,000 mark but it failed to attend. What is that lesson which I got from yesterday's share market? I would be discussing in this video. Also in this video, I will be discussing one important news about China's plans for space breeding. Now few days back in this video series only I discussed deep space burial missions by various countries, uh, particularly in US and now China is doing space breeding they are planting they are doing plantation in the space for what and why how i'll be discussing in this video if you want to know more about that please watch this video till the end and also at the end of the video i'll be discussing one one of the most important trending news today in the country is it's about manipur a heinous crime was carried out on 4th of may in manipur and now the videos have been surfacing on the internet since last few days what the Hindu the mo one of the most prominent newspaper has to say about this I'll be discussing that and also sharing the link in the description box about that trending news so stay tuned till the end of the video if you want to know more about all these things if you haven't subscribed to my channel please share like and subscribe to my channel so that these informative videos reach more and more people and they also get a, get something positive on the social media platforms about the most important lesson i got from yesterday <clears throat> day before yesterday uh, indian share market as you all know nifty and sensex are one of the most important indices in the country of share market share market is not representative of the whole country but it represents major chunk of the economic development of whatever happening in the country these are two indices in that also nifty 50 is one of the prominent index where it represents top 50 companies in the country and whatever happens to nifty it is considered that india's growth is reflected by the ups and downs on the nifty now it's it's one of the index where it was uh, when it was started it started with the value of 1000 day before yesterday it reached as high as 19991 so just nine short of the achievement landmark of 20000 mark yesterday when the market was supposed supposed to open everybody uh, or at least most of the people were expecting it to cross 20000 but it opened very low yesterday it could not cross the 20,000 mark yesterday but it doesn't mean that we will not see 20,000 I can definitely say nifty is such index that you can you can see nifty down but you cannot see nifty out many many companies uh, who are not running their businesses properly they can go down and out many people can go down and out but the country cannot go down and out and the index of the company uh, index of the nation which is the most important thing cannot go down and out so nifty can go down for some time it will be because of selling yesterday which happened because of various factors there are so many other factors which operate on the nifty now why i'm trying to discuss this in today's video is the fact that we all are affected by what is happening in the share market even if you invest directly or indirectly or even if you do not invest it doesn't mean that share market is not for all of us it is the reflection of whatever happening in the economic forum uh, economic situation in the country and whatever happens in the nifty is a direct has a direct contribution to the nation's growth so yesterday uh, we expected uh, being investors in the share market that it would cross 20,000 it has not happened let's hope that it will happen very soon and most important lesson I would say I got from yesterday's life is that 
वी कैनॉट प्रेडिक्ट निफ्टी डू नॉट वेस्ट योर टाइम इन प्रेडिक्टिंग निफ्टी आई नो देर आर सो मेनी एक्सपर्ट्स वो वुड लाइक टू प्रेडिक्ट वेन इट विल हैपन एंड ऑल वी मोस्ट ऑफ अस आर वेरी स्मॉल इन्वेस्टर्स वी हैव वेरी स्मॉल कैपिटल वी कैनॉट मूव निफ्टी और एनी कंपनी इन द निफ्टी टू अ लार्जर एक्सटेंट बिकॉज द कैपिटल वी इन्वेस्ट इन द शेयर मार्केट इज नॉट समथिंग विच विल इमिजिएटली ब्रिंग सिग्निफिकेंट चेंजेस इन द अप ट्रेंड और द डाउन ट्रेंड इन द निफ्टी सो जस्ट एन्जॉय द राइड डू नॉट गो आउट ऑफ द मार्केट वेन द थिंग्स फॉल वेन निफ्टी फॉल्स इन कोविड टाइम्स यू मस्ट हैव यू मस्ट बी रिमेंबरिंग दैट निफ्टी वेंट अप टू ऑलमोस्ट सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सेवन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड लेवल्स एंड फ्रॉम दैट इन मार्च अप्रिल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी नाउ इट हैज कम अप टू नाइनटीन हंड्रेड नाइन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी वन ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सो फ्रॉम सेवन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इज अ ह्यूमंगस अचीवमेंट विच निफ्टी हैज गिवन ओवर द लास्ट थ्री एंड हाफ ईयर्स विच वी ऑल शूड एप्रिशिएट and it has happened only with the patience if you are not patient please do not invest in the share market you can do whatever you want with your money or the way you want your money to be reflected or grown but if you have patience definitely if you have confidence over the country and country's growth you should definitely invest now is not very ideal time to invest in the share market because now is uh, it is at the all time high but i would say whenever you get an opportunity because of fall in the nifty or sensex do keep a watch on that you can easily get information about the nifty and sensex in any newspaper any news channel and everybody but be focused uh, try to invest in the share market do not allow your temperament to be disturbed by the fluctuations in the nifty and sensex because it is manip- it is uh, controlled Uh, by so many hundreds of factors so don't try to control your emotions don't try to control nifty's direction rather try to take advantage of nifty's direction that was the most important lesson i got from yesterday's life and most important lesson i would suggest you to get from yesterday's life is that do not predict nifty we missed 20000 but i am very sure that we will be celebrating 20000 mark of nifty very soon in next few days today and tomorrow uh, is the holiday so we may not expect it to happen today or tomorrow but from next week we can definitely expect it to cross 20000 about the most important news i came across yesterday is about china's missions uh, about the space seeding now china has sent manned mission uh, in may 2023 they will be staying in the space for almost 5 months and china has sent almost one more than 150 trees and plants and fungi and what else uh, into the space <coughs> for research now what china wants to achieve is that china is uh, in uh, friendly friendly competition with the us and russia and india about the space exploration techniques and technology but what they want to achieve is that they want to grow these uh, seeds into the space in various adverse conditions such as cosmic radiations microgravity and etc because of that there are dna changes which happen in the seed and china wants to study those dna changes and make those seeds available for adverse condition seeding such as uh, drought etc so that's an interesting story china wants to do few days back there was a news about deep space burial uh, planned by many of the us private companies but now this news of deep uh, of space seeding uh, has definitely uh, grabbed attention all across the globe i'll be sharing link in the description box about that news if you want to read more what are china's plans and what china wants to do with this space breeding uh, please go to the description box and click on the link about the most trending news i came across yesterday is about a very sad incidence extremely sad incidents which happened on 4th of may in manipur in thaubal district there was a uh, there was a video which has leaked in recent uh, last few days over the internet it the incidents happened in thaubal district of manipur last many days almost 3 months it has been there are clashes between methi community and tribal community kuki community in the manipur 
that has disturbed all the situation in the manipur completely all the normality has completely gone uh, forces had to be put there by the central government but only two days back for the first time publicly uh, our prime minister has spoken about it outrageously uh, he has condemned the act he has uh, said that uh, we will not leave all the uh, people who have done it uh, in any way they will be definitely caught the news is very sad two women were dragged uh, naked by a mob almost four or five people uh, were tortured by a mob of thousands of people now what what can they do they would have been able to do anything if so many people are against them and in that those videos are surfacing i would request you to do not spread that uh, video or anything related to that video i am discussing it here because it is one of the most important thing we all need to discuss it is a shameful act we all must condemn it uh, we cannot we cannot allow those uh, videos to be shared on social media please stop right now spreading anything uh, which is vi showing visuals of that video do not spread it rather spread awakening messages rather spread messages which will prevent such instances in the future it should never happen in any part of the world be the uh, any reason it might be but that is not at all acceptable and i hope you people also will agree that it's a very uh, bad uh, thing which has happened in manipur i'll be sharing link in the description box about the hindu uh, newspapers editorial article that article has no video i would request you to go through that video just read about it if you are not aware of this condition till now but my humble request to you that do not spread these uh, vi visuals even if they are blurred do not spread those videos do not uh, allow anyone to spread that heinous crime being shot on a mobile it doesn't mean that everyone has mobile it doesn't mean that they should shoot such instances and uh, humanity uh, has lost all the faith in that incidents i would say so that's very sad news i wanted to discuss and that's very uh, trending i would say we all should learn uh, how to behave with women a uh, woman has 100% right of her dignity of her willingness and this is not at all acceptable that's a strong message should go in everyone's act be a woman be a man but the dignity of the other woman must be preserved 100% at any cost so with that message i would leave you with a very sad and thinking kind of uh, note i hope people all across the country all across the globe start behaving in a better way as compared to what has happened on the 4th of may in manipur for today we'll stop here bye bye